Ad Levi, the third son of Yaakov and Leah. Chapter 1 The copy of the words of Levi, the things which he ordained unto his sons, according to all that they should do, and what things should befall them until the day of judgment. He was sound in health when he called them to him, for it had been revealed to him that he should die. And when they were gathered together, he said to them. Chapter 2 I, Levi, was born in Haran, and I came with my father to Shechem. And I was young, about twenty years of age, when with Shimon I wrought vengeance on Hamor for our sister Dina. And when I was feeding the flocks in Avil Maul, the Ruach of Understanding of Yahuwah came upon me, and I saw all men corrupting their way, and that unrighteousness had built for itself walls, and Torahlessness set upon towers. And I was grieving for the race of the sons of men, and I prayed to Yahuwah that I might be saved. Then there fell upon me a sleep, and I beheld a high mountain, and I was upon it. And behold, the heavens were opened, and an angel of Elohim said to me, Levi, enter. And I entered from the first heaven, and I saw there a great sea hanging. And further, I saw a second heaven, far brighter and more brilliant, for there was a boundless light also therein. And I said to the angel, Why is this so? And the angel said to me, Marvel not at this, for you shall see another heaven more brilliant and incomparable. And when you have ascended thither, you shall stand near Yahuwah and shall be his minister and shall declare his mysteries to men, and shall proclaim concerning him that shall redeem Yashorel. And by you and Yahuda shall Yahuwah appear among men, saving every race of men, and from Yahuwah's portion shall be your life, and he shall be your field and vineyard, and fruits, gold, and silver. Chapter 3 here, therefore, regarding the heavens which have been shown to you, the lowest is for this cause gloomy unto you, and that it beholds all the righteous deeds of men. And it has fire, snow, and ice made ready for the day of judgment and the righteous judgment of Elohim. For in it are all the Urukot of the retributions for vengeance on men. And in the second are the hosts of the armies which are ordained for the day of judgment to work vengeance on the Ruachot of deceit and of Baal. And above them are the holy ones. And in the highest of all dwells the great glory, far above all holiness. And the heaven next to it are the archangels who minister and make propitiation to Yahuwah for all the sons of ignorance of the righteous, offering to Yahuwah a sweet-smelling savor, a reasonable and bloodless offering. And in the heaven below this are the angels who bear answers to the angels of the presence of Yahuwah. And in the heaven next to this are thrones and dominions in which always they offer praise to Elohim. For Yahuwah looks upon us, all of us are shaken. Yea, the heavens and the earth and the abysses are shaken at the presence of his majesty. But the sons of men, having no perception of these things, send and provoke El Elyon. Now therefore, 
Know that Yahuwah shall execute judgment upon the sons of men, because when the rocks are being rent, and the sun quenched, and the waters dried up, and the fire cowering, and all creation troubled, and the invisible war coat melting away, and Sheol takes spoils through the visitation of El Elyon, men will be unbelieving and persist in their iniquity. On this account, with punishment, shall they be judged. Therefore, El Elyon has heard your prayer to separate you from iniquity, and that you should become to him a son and a servant and a minister of his presence. The light of knowledge shall you light up in Yaakov, and as the sun shall you be to all the seed of Yashorel. And there shall be given to you a blessing, and to all your seed, until Yahuwah shall visit all the other nations in his tender mercies forever. And therefore, there have been given to you counsel and understanding that you might instruct your sons concerning this, because they that bless him shall be blessed, and they that curse him shall perish. Chapter 5 and thereupon the angel opened to me the gates of heaven, and I saw the holy temple, and upon the throne of glory El Elyon. And he said to me, Levi, I have given you the blessings of the priesthood until I come and sojourn in the midst of Yasharel. Then the angel brought me down to the earth and gave me a shield and a sword and said to me, Execute vengeance on Shechem because of Dina, your sister, and I will be with you because Yahuwah has sent me. And I destroyed at that time the sons of Hamor, as it is written in the heavenly tablets. And I said to him, I pray you, O Yahuwah, tell me your name that I may call upon you in a day of tribulation. And he said, I am the angel who intercedes for the nation of Yashar El, that they may not be smitten utterly, for every evil ruach attacks it. And after these things I awakened and blessed El Elyon, and the angel who intercedes for the nation of Yashar El and for all the righteous. Chapter 6 And when I was going to my father, I found a brazen shield, wherefore also the name of the mountain is Aspis, which is near Gevol, to the south of Abila. And I kept these words in my heart. And after this I counseled my father and Reuben, my brother, to bid the sons of Hamor not to be circumcised, for I was zealous because of the abomination which they had wrought on my sister. And I slew Shechem first, and Shimon slew Hamor. And after this, my brothers came and smote that city with the edge of the sword. And my father heard these things and was wroth, and he was grieved in that they had received the circumcision, and after that had been put to death. And in his blessings he looked a mess upon us. For we sinned because we had done this thing against his will, and he was sick on that day. But I saw that the sentence of Elohim was for evil upon the Shechem, for they sought to do to Sarah and Rivka as they had done to Dina, our sister. But Yahuwah prevented, and they vexed his flocks when they were big with young. And Eblaim, who was born in his house, they most shamefully handled. And thus they did to all strangers, taking away their women by force, and they banished them. But the wrath of Yahuwah came upon them to the uttermost. Chapter 7 And I said to my father Yaakob, By you will Yahuwah despoil the Kanaani, and will give their land to you and to your seed after you. For from this day forward shall Shechem be called the city of imbeciles. For as a man mocks a fool, so did we mock them. 
because also they had wrought folly in Yasharel by defiling my sister, and we departed and came to Bet El. Chapter 8 And there again I saw a vision as the former, after we had spent there seventy days. And I saw seven men in white raiment, saying unto me, Arise, put on the robe of the priesthood and the crown of righteousness, and the breastplate of understanding, and the garment of truth, and the plate of belief, and the turban of the head, and the ephod of prophecy. And they severally carried these things, and put them on me, and said unto me, From henceforth become a priest of Yahuwah, you and your seed forever. And the first anointed me with holy oil, and gave to me the staff of judgment. The second washed me with pure water, and fed me with bread and wine, even the most holy things, and clad me with the holy and glorious robe. The third clothed me with the linen vestment like an ephod. The fourth put round me a girdle like unto purple. The fifth gave me a branch of rich olive. The sixth placed a crown on my head. The seventh placed on my head a diadem of priesthood and filled my hands with incense that I might serve as priest to Yahuwah Elohim. And they said to me, Levi, your seed shall be divided into three offices for a sign of the glory of Yahuwah who is to come. And the first portion shall be great, yea, greater than it shall none be. The second shall be in the priesthood, and the third shall be called by a new name, because a king shall arise in Yauda and shall establish a new priesthood after the fashion of the other nations to all the other nations. And his presence is beloved as a prophet of El Elyon, of the seed of Abraham our father. Therefore, every desirable thing in Yasharel shall be for you and for your seed, and ye shall eat everything fair to look upon. And the table of Yahuwah shall your seed a portion. And some of them shall be high priests and judges and scribes. For by their mouth shall the holy place be guarded. And when I awoke, I understood this dream was like the first dream. And I hid this also in my heart and told it not to any man upon the earth. Chapter 9 And after two days I and Yahuda went up with our father Yaakov to Yishach, our father's father. And my father's father blessed me according to all the words of the visions which I had seen. And he would not come with us to Beit El. And when we came to Beit El, my father saw a vision concerning me that I should be their priest unto Elohim. And he rose up early in the morning and paid tithes of all to Yahuwah through me. And so we came to Havron to dwell there. And Yishra called me continually to put me in remembrance of the Torah of Yahuwah, even as the angel of Yahuwah showed unto me. And he taught me the Torah of the priesthood, of sacrifices, whole burnt offerings, first fruits, free will offerings, peace offerings. And each day he was instructing me and was busied on my behalf before Yahuwah and said to me, Beware of the Ruach of fornication, for this shall continue and shall by your seed pollute the holy place. Take therefore to yourself a woman without blemish or pollution, while yet you are young and not of the race of strange nations, and before entering into the holy place, bathe, and when you offer the sacrifices, wash. And again, when you finish the sacrifice, 
wash of twelve trees having leaves, offer to Yahuwah, as Abraham taught me so, and a very clean beast and bird offer a sacrifice to Yahuwah, and of all your first fruits and of wine, offer the first as a sacrifice to Yahuwah Elohim, and every sacrifice you shall salt with salt. Chapter 10. Now therefore, observe whatsoever I command you, children. For whatsoever things I have heard from my fathers, I have declared unto you. And behold, I am clear from your wickedness and transgression, which ye shall commit in the end of the ages against the Savior of the world, Mashiach, acting wickedly, deceiving Yashirel, and stirring up against it great evils from the Yahuwah. And ye shall deal lawlessly together with Yashirel, so he shall not bear with Yerushalayim because of your wickedness. But the veil of the temple shall be rent, so as not to cover your shame. And ye shall be scattered as captives among the other nations, and shall be for a reproach and for a curse there. For the house which Yahuwah shall choose shall be called Yerushalayim, as is contained in the book of Hanuk the Righteous. Chapter 11 Therefore, when I took a woman, I was twenty-eight years old, and her name was Milcah. And she conceived and bore a son, and I called his name Gershon, for we were sojourners in our land. And I saw concerning him that he would not be in the first rank. And Kohath was born in the thirty-fifth year of my life, toward sunrise. And I saw in a vision that he was standing on high in the midst of all the assembly. Therefore I called his name Kohath, which is beginning of majesty and instruction. And she bore me a third son in the fortieth year of my life. And since his mother bore him with difficulty, I called him Marari, that is, my bitterness because he also was like to die. And Yochabed was born in Mitzrayim in my 64th year, for I was renowned then in the midst of my brethren. Chapter 13. And now my children, I command you, fear Yahuwah, your Elohim, with your whole heart and walk in simplicity according to all his Torah. And do ye also teach your children letters that they may have understanding all their life, reading unceasingly the Torah of Elohim. For every one that knows the Torah of Yahuwah shall be honored and shall not be a stranger whithersoever he goes. Yea, Many friends shall he gain more than his parents, and many men shall desire to serve him and to hear the Torah from his mouth. Work righteousness, therefore, my children, upon the earth, that ye may have it as a treasure in heaven, and sow good things in your souls, that ye may find them in your life. But if ye sow evil things, Ye shall reap every trouble and affliction. Get wisdom in the fear of Elohim with diligence, for though there be a leading into captivity, and cities and lands be destroyed, and gold and silver, and every possession perish, the wisdom of the wise no one can take away, save the blindness of wickedness and the callousness that comes of sun. For if one keeps himself from these evil things, then even among his enemies shall wisdom be a glory to him, and in a strange country a fatherland, and in the midst of foes shall prove a friend. Whosoever teaches noble things and does them shall be enthroned with kings 
as was also Yosef, my brother. Chapter 14. Therefore, my children, I have learned that at the end of the ages, ye will transgress against Yahuwah, stretching out hands to wickedness against him. And to all the other nations shall ye become a scorn. For our father Yasharel is pure from the transgressions of the chief priests who shall lay their hands upon the savior of the world. For as the heaven is pure in Yahuwah's sight than the earth, so also be ye the lights of Yasharel, purer than all the other nations. But if ye be darkened through transgressions, what therefore with all the other nations do living in blindness? Ye ye shall bring a curse upon our race because of the light of the Torah which was given for to lighten every man this ye desire to destroy by teaching commandments contrary to the ordinances of Elohim. The offerings of Yahuwah ye shall rob, and from his portion shall ye still choice portions, eating them contemptuously with harlots. And out of covetousness ye shall teach the commandments of Yahuwah. Wedded women shall ye pollute, and the virgins of Yerushalayim shall ye defile, and with harlots and adulteresses shall ye be joined, and the daughters of the other nations shall ye take to be your women, purifying them with an unlawful purification, and your union shall be like unto Sidom and Amorah, and ye shall be puffed up because of your priesthood, lifting yourselves up against men, and not only so, but also against the commands of Elohim. For ye shall condemn the holy things <laughs> with just and laughter. <laughs> Chapter 15. Therefore the temple which Yahuwah shall choose shall be laid waste through your uncleanness, and ye shall be captives throughout all nations, and ye shall be an, an abomination unto them and ye shall receive reproach and everlasting shame from the righteous judgment of Elohim. And all who hate you shall rejoice at your destruction. And if you were not to receive mercy through Abraham, Yishach, and Yaakov our fathers, not one of our seed shall be left upon the earth. Chapter 16. And now I have learnt that for seventy weeks ye shall go astray, and profane the priesthood, and pollute the sacrifices, and ye shall make void the Torah, and set at naught the words of the prophets by evil perverseness. And ye shall persecute righteous men, and hate the righteous, the words of the faithful shall ye abhor. And a man who renews the Torah in the power of El Elyon, ye shall call a deceiver. And at last ye shall rush upon him to slay him, not knowing his dignity, taking innocent blood through wickedness upon your heads. And your holy places shall be laid waste even to the ground because of him. And ye shall have no place that is clean, but ye shall be among the other nations a curse and a dispersion until he shall again visit you and in pity shall receive you through belief in water. Chapter 17. And whereas ye have heard concerning the 70 weeks, hear also concerning the priesthood. For in each jubilee there shall be a priesthood and in the first jubilee, the first who is anointed to the priesthood shall be great and shall speak to Elohim as to a father. And his priesthood shall be perfect with Yahuwah. 
and in the day of his gladness shall he arise for the Yeshua of the world. In the second jubilee, he that is anointed shall be conceived in the sorrow of beloved ones, and his priesthood shall be honored and shall be glorified by all. And the third priest shall be taken hold of by sorrow, and the fourth shall be in pain, because unrighteousness shall gather itself against him exceedingly, and all Yasharel shall hate each other his neighbor. The fifth shall be taken hold of by darkness, likewise also the sixth and the seventh. And in the seventh shall be such pollution as I cannot express before men, for they shall know it who do these things. Therefore shall they be taken captive and become a prey, and their land and their substance shall be destroyed. And in the fifth week they shall return to their desolate country, and shall renew the house of the Yahuwah. And in the seventh week shall become priests who are idolaters, breakers of wedlock, lovers of money, proud, Torahless, lascivious, abusers of children and beasts. Chapter 18 And after their punishment shall have come from Yahuwah, the priesthood shall fail. Then shall Yahuwah raise up a new priest, and to him all the words of Yahuwah shall be revealed, and he shall execute a righteous judgment upon the earth for a multitude of days and his star shall arise in heaven as of a king, lighting up the light of knowledge as the sun the day, and he shall be magnified in the world. He shall shine forth as the sun on the earth and shall remove all darkness from under heaven, and there shall be peace in all the earth. The heavens shall exult in his days and the earth shall be glad and the clouds shall rejoice and the knowledge of Yahuwah shall be poured forth upon the earth as the water of the seas, and the angels of the glory of the presence of Yahuwah shall be glad in him. The heavens shall be opened, and from the temple of glory shall come upon him sanctification with the Father's voice as from Abraham to Yishak, and the glory of El Elyon shall be uttered over him, and the Ruach of understanding and sanctification shall rest upon him in the water. For he shall give the majesty of Yahuwah to his sons in truth forevermore. And there shall none succeed him for all generations forever. And in his priesthood the other nations shall be multiplied in knowledge upon the earth and enlightened through the grace of Yahuwah and his priesthood shall send come to an end, and the Torahless shall cease to do evil, and the just shall rest in him. And he shall open the gates of paradise, and shall remove the threatening sword against Adam. And he shall give to the Kodeshim to eat from the tree of life, and the Ruach of holiness shall be on them. And Baal shall be bound by him, and he shall give power to his children to tread upon the evil Ruachot. And Yahuwah shall rejoice in his children, and be well pleased in his beloved ones forever. Then shall Abraham and Yishach and Yaakov exult, and I will be glad, and all the Kodeshim shall clothe themselves with joy. Chapter 19 And now, my children, ye have heard all. Choose therefore for yourselves either the light or the darkness, either the Torah of Yahuwah or the works of Baal. And his sons answered him, saying, Before Yahuwah we will walk according to his Torah. And their father said unto them, Yahuwah is witness and his angels are witnesses, and ye are witnesses, 
and I am witness concerning the word of your mouth. And his son said unto him, We are witnesses. And thus Levi ceased commanding his sons, and he stretched out his feet on the bed and was gathered to his fathers after he had lived 137 years. And they laid him in a coffin, and afterwards they buried him in Hebron with Abraham, Yishak, and Yaakov.